Welcome back Pez Collectors. I often get asked how do I clean my Pez because a lot of times I get Pez and especially if they're from eBay and it's just being sold by you know like an estate sale or someone just finding like a junk drawer full of Pez. It seems like the Pez arrive and they're pretty gross. <laughs> so I like to use a certain like cleaning process I've been using for the last couple months now especially since doing the live stream because it seems like we've been getting more and more vintage Pez here so I found you know a system that I really like so I thought I'd share it with you here on the channel in case you come across the same issue you can have all kinds of issues you could have just you know really dirty Pez you could have Pez that smell like smoke if you're not a smoker you know the smoke smell might really come across or you might have ones that like really need a deep clean <laughs> get kind of gross <laughs> but you know why let your Pez be dirty and sit on your shelf and not look good I always like to have my Pez looking the best that they can when I add them to my like giant large display or if I put them behind me here I don't like dirty Pez <laughs> I don't know who does but let me show you my system that I use and I'll go step by step on what I use it's very simple even though I have a lot of stuff sitting here in front of me and I do have a pretty good pile here that I need to clean because I haven't cleaned any in the last couple weeks now. Seems like a lot of times we'll get really clean Pez and other times we just get like really dirty Pez. <laughs> so it's hit or miss, but these are some of the dirty ones that I have I thought would make a really good video here. So let's get started. So here's my setup here. I have a stack of some Pez. I want to clean most of these. I probably won't show them all in the video, but I thought for now I'd get them all out. I like to start with mostly water and like just the tiniest drop of some liquid dish soap, I guess you call it. I use unscented. I would probably do unscented because you don't want your pests smelling like soap when they're all done. This is just a bowl of some clean water. And then in this bowl, I add just a little bit of this rubbing alcohol. Just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. A little bit goes a long way. Just a little bit. You can always fill it up if you need more. <laughs> and then also, I have some baking soda here. And I'll get to that once I start using the electric toothbrush. Which, I found this very helpful when the pads are really dirty. And also I have a whole stack of Q-tips. <laughs> And you're going to need a lot of those if your pads are dirty. And I have a bowl here that I can mix my baking soda solution in for this. And then also I have my magnifying glass because I've noticed that once I clean my pads, if I don't look through this, I miss spots. They can be pretty gross. <laughs> so having a magnifying glass, I do have a link down below in the description for this one. This one's from Amazon. This is really nice because it has the light on it. The light is very helpful. A lot of times I even use it just without the magnifying glass, just for having a light, like on my table here. Also grab some paper towels, because you're gonna need some of those. Or you can just use the towel. I'll have some more paper towels over here, prop this up in stages. And also I like to lay out a little towel here, like this is my workstation. Because it can get a little wet. I mean, it doesn't matter if my table gets wet, but I like to keep it kind of clean while I'm doing this because it can get kind of gross. The sure does seem like a lot, but once you start doing it, it's pretty simple. And I found it to be pretty effective to get the Pez clean. Also, sometimes we buy lots of Pez on eBay and they'll have a little bit of stickiness to the bottom because people will use like some kind of sticky stuff to attach them to like their Pez rails or their Pez tiers or whatever. You know, they'll just ship them to us with that stuff still on. So sometimes you might even need a little goo gone or you can end up soaking your Pez bottoms in the alcohol and rubbing it off. That'll take it off too, but goo gone like works wonders. But if you want something, you know, that you might already have some alcohol in your house, you can also use that as well. I guess we could start with this Dino. It's not the best looking Pez, but this came from Canada, and I don't have one with the stem color, but see on the bottom there, it looks pretty gross. <laughs> like down here, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> but 
but this lot that we got we did open it up maybe almost a month ago maybe now on the live stream it's been a while and i've been procrastinating cleaning these because i know when they did first arrive they did smell like smoke which i don't smell the smoke anymore and if you do get pez that smell like smoke usually just let it sit you know somewhere for maybe like a month or so and it'll probably eventually stop smelling like smoke but you want to wipe off all the gook that you know is on there that you just can't see <laughs> Also, you can. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't look. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so gross. Okay, I shouldn't look through the magnifying glass until I'm mostly done cleaning these. <laughs> so I don't want to know what's on the bottom here. Okay, so first up, I take my pez, take a cotton pick. Cotton pick? A cute. <laughs> I call these cotton picks. I don't know why, but we have. Okay, so you put it in the little soapy water and this one's pretty gross <laughs> so i might just go over to and dip it in the rubbing alcohol next because it's pretty gross i'm gonna put this here because this is grossing me out <laughs> and then just rub on the pez and i don't want to like ugh. i should have grabbed oh i have a i have a trash bag over there you see you also need a trash bag <laughs> ugh. So clean it real good with the rubbing alcohol and when you're, can you see the dirt on there? When it gets dirty, just flip it around and use the other side. Sometimes when it's really dirty, I just start straight up alcohol. You can put it on a napkin as well or paper towel and really clean it, but yeah, that'll kill any germs or whatever is on it too. <laughs> Sometimes it could take a while to get get it clean if it's really gross like this one is. <laughs> Just scrub it real good. Especially with these newer pez, I don't think you have to really worry about putting too much of this alcohol on them. And when you do clean your pez, you do not want to rub anything on the paint on the head or if there's paint on the stems. Don't put the rubbing alcohol on it because it'll rub the paint right off. So you do have to be kind of careful on your vintage pez these with the newer printing i think you're you'll be okay but you don't you still don't want to put rubbing alcohol on any painted spots scrubbing down the stem real good here yeah so gross <laughs> uh, you're gonna hear me say that 500 times today I'll, I'll try not to too much i usually just wipe off everything to go to just to start and when you rub on the heads don't rub too hard. I would put, you know, your hand around the head and support it because you don't want to, like, give it too much pressure on the head, especially the vintage Pez. You don't want to put too much pressure on them because they will get wiggly if you're not careful. This one's already really not too nice, so. <laughs> or you can lay it on the table and, you know, make sure you're not putting any pressure on the stem in any weird ways and uh, help. that kind of helps support the Pez too. Sometimes when it's really gross, I'll just dip it in the soapy water there. So next up, I take a little soapy water and I really wipe it down, but just be careful of the paint, like I said. This kind of helps get the alcohol off, even though the alcohol like dries really fast. You'll notice that if you put the alcohol on your pens, it evaporates like instantly. And I haven't had any issue with the rubbing alcohol going on the plastic so it should be fine so give it a good rub this is just the little soapy water just dip it in and then after you rub it down with a little soapy water I usually just take the other side of the rag here and dip it in the water and then give it a good rinse so now now do you see why you might need a lot of paper towels or you might need a ex couple extra towels because you want to wipe off all the alcohol and the soapy water from your pez. You don't want that sitting on here for too long. Ooh, it's already looking so good. <laughs> I don't feel so gross doubt about it anymore. I have these paper towels, you just get a little section of it even. But a lot of just a lot of just regular water on it, wipe it down real good. And then use the other side you can, you know, dry it off. You might see me you know, clean these newer Pez 
a little bit more aggressively than I would a vintage Pez. I do have some vintage Pez here I'm going to clean really soon though. I just thought this one would make a really good first clean. Let's see. <laughs> Looks so good. Now it doesn't gross me out. Especially once you wipe it down and, and dry it with your paper towel if nothing comes off. You know it's pretty clean. And then usually I open it up. <laughs> Ew, okay. I open it up and then carefully hold it open and then grab another q-tip and gently wipe the sleeve with some rubbing alcohol in there. This one's pretty gross. <laughs> oh, wait, can you see? <laughs> it's pretty gross in there. Ugh. So just slowly and easily just wipe it down because the springs will get rusty in the Pez and you just wipe that off. Plus I think a lot of times the dirt will like accumulate in here. It's probably not rust, it's just dirt. Clean the little... Oh shoot, I just dropped that in there. Clean the little candy pusher. But just be careful when you're holding the sleeve open like this. You're not putting too much pressure on it one way or the other. Especially for the vintage Pez. Sometimes these sleeves can get a little brittle when they get older. <laughs> Ugh, it's so gross. So let that dry. Usually I just take a little bit of water, wipe it down. You don't want to get water down into the stem here where the spring is. So just put a little bit on and just wipe it off. It'll be fine. Still a lot better than it was probably to start with. <laughs> this one was gross. Uh, and then let it dry here for a couple seconds, maybe a minute. And then once it feels dry to the touch, then you can let the head go back down in the stem. But also, I like to flip, flip open the head there and then grab some more alcohol on your little Q-tip and clean up in there too. Because a lot of times if the stem is dirty, you'll stick your q-tip up in there and some gross stuff will come out <laughs> yeah this it's getting dirty just barely even just getting anything in there this this is already looking so good since I can't really stick a paper towel in there just get another q-tip with a little water on it just wipe it down real quick it's okay if you leave a little bit of alcohol on there I don't think it's gonna hurt it it dries really fast. <laughs> Ugh, it's still coming out kind of dirty. I'm going to try that one more time. <laughs> That's probably good. It's better than it was. So check it out. See how the bottom here was all dirty where the feet were. It was like filthy. <laughs> Actually, it looks really nice. There you go. Looks real clean on the inside now. And it smells good. Doesn't smell like smoke. And it's gonna look great added to my Pez shelf. <laughs> so I'll put this one... I'll add them over here. I'm gonna go grab the trash can because this is gross. This, some of these are gonna be really dirty. So sorry. <laughs> Got my trash bag here. I didn't do the final inspection. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, you can see up in the head there. Yuck. <laughs> looks good though. Looks really nice. So some of these, they're not real dirty. I just wanted to give them a quick wipe down before I do put them on the shelf. Just to knock any dust off. Or just to get any thing that could be on there off. <laughs> Usually I just take a little soapy water on these that aren't really dirty. You don't really need the alcohol on them. And since this is a vintage one, do not touch the paint. If there's paint on it, do not touch it. <laughs> just let it be dirty. Because the paint will rub right off. 
just like like you'll wipe it and it'll be gone and you'll cry so it's happened to me before I had to learn the hard way <laughs> well oh I was cleaning a Pluto no foot and I was using the rubbing alcohol and I was just wiping down the head and stuff and I didn't realize but the paper towel touched the nose and the paint just came right off but luckily the Plutos, all their noses are kind of funky anyway. <laughs> They're not very well painted. So I know that I messed it up, but you know, if someone looks at it on my shelf, they might not notice. So and then I usually take a little wet, just a little water and wipe it down now after you put a little soap. Cause there's not hardly any soap in that bowl. Just barely any, just to cut the dirt, you know? So this one's already looking really good. Cleaning the brown stem Bugs Bunny. It's a little wet there <laughs> and then I open up the sleeve here and this one these look so clean like we got these from an auction and I'm surprised how clean that they look they must have came from a Pez collector a lot of times when you get Pez from auctions you know a lot of times it's just a I call it a junk drawer Pez fine so it's not like you know, real pest collectors own these and put them on their shelf. <laughs> so I think this one's pretty good. It looks great. Didn't look too dirty to start with. Let's put bugs over here. I'm just gonna wipe down a couple of these Looney Tune ones just to get them out of the way here. Just use a little bit more soapy water. Again, don't wipe the eyes. And be careful where your rag is at too so you don't accidentally wipe it or the little nose. If you don't like using paper towels, you can just you know, use a couple nice soft towels to wipe these down, but I don't know, I find that it's gross to wipe these down. <laughs> and I don't like to reuse my towels on these types of things, so uh, it's my own preferences. And this one was pretty clean. I don't even know if I needed to wipe it down, but I did. Just looking at Daffy here in the magnifying glass, there's a little dust on the head. You can see it because it's black, so I might as well just add a little soapy water to its head there. Gotta be careful because its eyes are really large. Put a little water on it just to rinse it off. Doesn't need a lot, just a little bit. It's more like just dusting it and cleaning it real quick. Check this. this the sleeve. I don't, this one, if they're not real dirty when I look in the sleeves, I just usually leave them alone because I don't want a chance, you know, crack in the sleeve or whatever. There you go. I think it turned out pretty nice. So there is another really, really dirty one here. This uh, Panther Pez was one of those ones that came in that same lot with the Dino and it looks disgusting. <laughs> okay. Why do I keep torturing myself? And this one doesn't have any paint on it. No, it's so gross. It's so gross. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, take a closer look at this before I clean it. Especially in the back of the head. In the, in the head. It just, it's just disgusting. So I'm just going to start with some alcohol on this one. And since this is a vintage one, I'm going to lay it here on the table and give it a good rub down with some rubbing alcohol here on the q-tip because ugh, and use the table as a support so I'm not you know wiggling the head too much so gross uh, I might have to use the paper towel but we'll get started with the q-tip oh it's coming right off so that's good ugh. I'm gonna need like 500 more of these. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna go use my little rag here that I had. Finish wiping the head down. Oh, it's looking really good though. It's becoming less and less gross. <laughs> This one's gonna look so good once it's cleaned up too. Get a little bit on this stem here. Let's 
be careful with it because these vintage ones get, you know, pretty brittle. I'm gonna wipe it down one more time. <laughs> it already looks so good. It looks, I'm gonna say almost brand new. I'm just gonna clean up under the head again. Clean the candy pusher. Just be careful when you're flipping your vintage Pez heads back because uh, all kinds of little pieces in there. Let's look inside this sleeve here. It doesn't actually look very bad. So I'm just going to wipe it down just because this is so gross to start with. <laughs> These came from a uh, home where the person definitely smoked. So no offense to anybody out there that smokes, but you know, like the smoke just like sticks to everything or whatever comes out of the cigarette or whatever. I'm not, I'm not an expert, but when you have collectibles and smoke, it's going to make your collectibles a little smelly and probably a little brown. I've seen white Pez that, you know, kind of get brown because people smoked in the house or around their Pez. It's looking so good. This one's gonna look great on my shelf. <laughs> Actually, I already have one of these. I need to compare it to the one I have. Okay, so another thing you can do is take your other bowl. I don't necessarily need to do this, but I kind of want to. Put a little water. Probably can just pour some of this, but I put a little water in the bowl. The clean water and then take just a little bit of your baking soda just a little bit put it in here just give it a little stir I put a little more in it's a lot <laughs> gonna need a little more water probably I brought up a lot of extra water because I knew I'd probably be using it here Okay, so let's have a little bit in the bowl, stir it up, and just get a cheap toothbrush. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just an electric one. So stick it in here and then get it wet and with a little baking soda on it. I like to put it and support it with the desk here, but give it a good little scrub. Make sure you don't do this over your, the painted parts. <laughs> uh. I think it just helps get the dirt out of the cracks. And I don't do this to all the Pez, just every once in a while if there's one that was like really, really gross like this one, just for a little extra clean. Plus I think it helps kind of polish it a little bit. So the plastic will probably look a little better. I don't think it's going to hurt it. And then I just take a little bit of water on the paper towel and wipe it down really good. It does kind of make a mess here on the desk. <laughs> Sometimes if there's no paint on it, I'll just stick it in the water here. Just don't get it in the where the spring is. Just be real careful. You can't do that with the stem side, but the head side, if there's no paint, sometimes I just dip it right in. Might need to wipe it one more time. <laughs> Man, this went from a 1 out of 10 Pez to a 10 out of 10 Pez. <laughs> uh. So don't be afraid to buy Pez if you see it online that kind of looks a little dirty and goopy because as long as the Pez is working right and there's no scratches or whatever on it, you know, the odds of it cleaning up really nice are really nice. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look at that beauty. <laughs> It's all clean. It does have a little bit of like a scratch down there at the bottom, but I don't think that's baking soda. Let me try. So 
So I think you could use a little bit of the baking soda there. Kind of polish it off. Looks a little better. I'm sure if I kept doing that. Yeah, look at that. Still has just a little bit of discoloring there on the edge, but it looks so good and I don't feel grossed out now by touching it. <laughs> Sometimes while I'm cleaning these, you'll notice that there's dirt in the stem. I should have mentioned that earlier. None of the other ones that I cleaned today are really that dirty. So sometimes I take a little rubbing alcohol and st stick it up the stem here. Just real s slightly, s very soft. <laughs> you don't want to crack the stem. And then uh, you take the other side here and put a little, just a little bit of water just to clean it. And then let that dry really well before you put the sleeve back in there. Because sometimes, like I was saying, you'll see the like rust or the dirt inside here from this from the spring. But other times, you'll see it inside the actual stem. Like if you hold it up to the light, or sometimes these are really translucent, you'll see some dirt in there. And usually it's like some spring dust or... or I don't know. I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> you can also stick a little paper towel up in there and dry it off if you want. Just really don't force it in there. <laughs> Sometimes if you put it down and then pull it back up and there's a little water on it, you might want to just wait a second. And that's perfect. So. <laughs> nice. But did I clean the inside? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I'm just gonna wipe the inside of the head off real quick here. It looks really nice. So, so far I've cleaned five. Two really dirty ones, one super, super, super dirty one. <laughs> Do you have a couple more easy ones I can clean off real easy? It's a little soapy water. So you get the point. Start with soapy water if you can. If it's really, really nasty and dirty, use a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. If it's really, really gross, then get yourself one of these electric toothbrushes and some baking soda and make yourself you know, a little concoction in the bowl, like a toothpaste almost. Really clean the Pez. You know, just always be careful what you're doing and you'll be fine. If it is like a super, 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 super expensive Pez, I probably would just use a little soapy water very gently on it. You know, if you're able to clean your Pez and make them look really great sitting on the shelf, or if you're gonna sell your Pez, you know, you're gonna get more money for them if they look nice and they're not all gross and, <laughs> and, gro and disgusting. And I think I would always pay more if I was buying Pez on eBay that looked really nice, had really nice pictures versus a lot of the auctions that we get and they're just like Pez thrown on the table and they take a picture and they look dirty and <laughs> if they look dirty you know they're gonna smell funny too. This one on the inside doesn't even look dirty. So these, we have some whistles here Greg got in the live stream last week and they don't look bad at all. I just like to give them a little rinse, just like a little dusting. Just check everything out, make sure it all works. Because these will sit on your shelf for, you know, many years to come and you want them to look nice. And then plus you'll know nothing's wrong with them either, in case one day you do go to sell these and you pick one up and you're like, wait, was that crack always in it? Get out your... You know, magnifying glass. Like this one does have a little bit more dirt on it I could wipe off. 
I'll put a little, especially these vintage ones, they, the dirt just like accumulates in the cracks. I say cracks, but <laughs> the little indentions of the stem. Especially these lighter colors, you can really see. Just make sure you rinse it off and you'll be fine. This one looks really nice though. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah. Looking good. It looks like uh, some kid might uh, actually use the whistle. <laughs> Why do I look? Why do I look? Okay. Clean that one down. <laughs> Let's put a little more, more rubbing alcohol there on the, on the mouthpiece. I'm gonna look at this one. This one doesn't have any teeth marks. Let's look at the panther. <laughs> oh yeah. Besides just little, you know, a couple little nicks there on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at underneath the... Ugh. Okay, I missed a spot. That's why it's good to get out your magnifying glass, because you can't see this stuff. Maybe if you have, like, crazy abnormal good up-close eyes but <laughs> seems like seems like I could get back in the head a little bit more too but I almost need some smaller q-tips that's better really just have to take your time especially on these really dirty ones just clean them real slow you don't want to break anything oh yeah that's way better also re-wiped down a couple spots in the head, but that looks so much better. Gonna double check them all. I tell you, you can't see stuff until you use the magnifying glass. Looks pretty good. Bugs Bunny looks good. Tweety. And I already checked the Dino, so that's probably good. So. Soapy water, water, rubbing alcohol, a little baking soda and regular water to make like a paste. Use your electric toothbrush. Make sure you have lots of paper towels. I know that's the best way to clean them. You can use towels too, but I like to use the paper towels. Get yourself a really nice magnifying glass. It doesn't have to be this one, but I highly recommend this one. I really love it. And then grab your dirty pens and practice. <laughs> And clean some more modern, newer Pez. I wouldn't start on vintage yet. And then once you get a hang of it, then go to some vintage Pez. You'll be cleaning your vintage Pez in no time. <laughs> so hopefully this video was helpful. If you do have any cleaning questions, let me know. Or if you have any other ways you clean your Pez, I'd love to hear from you. This is just what I find that is easy. It works. Usually it's stuff I have around the house. So I don't have to go you know, to the store and buy extra stuff. But if you have anything else you think I should try, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> I'm sure everybody kind of has their own ideas of how they should clean their Pez, but this is what I really like to do. So after every live stream on Saturday where we unbox all our Pez, usually Sunday or Saturday night, I'll spend cleaning the new Pez. And then I can mingle them into my actual like collection displays and not feel bad about you know adding some more vintage Pez. Or even the newer Pez, it just comes in gross and dirty. Most of it is pretty nice if you get it from like a dealer or a Pez collector on Facebook or something like that, but a lot of the times you get the stuff on eBay. Even if I do get it from a dealer or something, I do like to wipe it down just to get the dust off, really. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about collecting Pez or how to clean your Pez or how to take care of your Pez or whatever, then you might want to subscribe to my channel because I'm always making new videos talking about new Pez, vintage Pez, unboxing Pez. We have the live stream every Saturday. And I always try to find ways, you know, to display your Pez. Like recently I've gotten some Pez racks or some floor displays or some new Ikea cabinets. Just anything about collecting Pez, you're going to find it here on my channel. And if I haven't made a video about it yet, you know, feel free to comment down below and tell me some stuff that you want to see here on my channel. You know, I'm always open to, to suggestions and I try to make the videos when I can. <laughs> And if you enjoyed the video today and you did find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're going to go and clean your Pez or if you do go clean your Pez, you know, let me know how it comes out. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> That's it for this video and 
Saturday's live stream is going to be different because we're probably going to live stream from Connecticut because we're going to the Northeast Pest Convention this weekend. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook so I can tell you when we're going to go live from the Pez Convention if you don't want to miss out on our live video at least because we're going to be showing you know more of the convention behind the scenes but I will be filming a lot of stuff while I'm there as well just like I did when I went to the Michigan Pest Convention last summer so look forward to those videos coming up really soon here on the channel as well <laughs> so as always thanks for watching and I'll see you I guess this weekend for the live streams probably a couple of them hopefully if something does happen we can't live stream from there then I'll see you Tuesday <laughs> Bye. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nobody else.